Hey guys, in this video we are going to replace this inducer motor. The furnace stopped working because the inducer motor burnt out. So the first thing we want to do is to remove six screws and they are located one right here, one here, this one, this one back here, this one, and this one. After that, we'll have to disconnect the connector for the power and also remove the ground. I changed my mind. I am going to disconnect the power cable first. Now this is the inducer motor with the blower attached at the end. We'll have to replace this. This is the part that is not working anymore. Now we're going to strip this apart. All we want to replace is the motor. So we're going to put in a new motor.
Now here we have is a brand new inducer motor. Now before we start, make sure you still have your furnace turned off. Now we're gonna piece everything back together. This is the front side with the ground cable. And you want to match up your screw holes. You want to have this part flush. Okay, everything is now assembled. Now we can put it back in the furnace. Make sure th this is facing top.
I have to make sure this is the top side. Don't forget to screw down the ground. Okay, all the screws are in place. Now we connect the power connection. And then let's turn on the furnace to see if it actually works. Eureka, it works. And that's how you replace your inducer motor. Thank you for watching.